Welcome to No Man's Sky Survival Mode. And here we are. We're down on my fungal farm in the middle of a storm because in this part, what I want to do is complete this milestone if possible. But I don't really want to do it down on this farm. So we're going to do 0.9 of a soul to complete this. But in order to complete this milestone, what I've been doing down on this planet is I've been doing a lot of advanced manufacturing. You can see I've got lots of liquid explosives, heat capacitors, nitrogen salt. I think we can make a couple of these as well but i think that's about the limit of what we could do but i can make a couple more portable reactors but i don't really want to complete the milestone on this planet what i want to do is go up into space and <clears throat> i don't really want to complete this milestone down here what i want to do is go up to a space station we're going to go and find a new planet to explore and then complete them this a milestone on another planet so what we're going to do is I just want to find where the last um, this this thin that's where we got to go to I'm just gonna jump onto here and see if we can find it okay where is there is bit the spin terminus Now I know there are no extreme planets in this system, but before we move on to a new system, I just want to show you the results of my manufacturing here. You can see we got uh, six fusion igniters, three stasis devices, so we got well over a hundred million in credits. But we're just gonna have to see what the prices are like here to see whether I can sell this stuff off. I think I've also got some living glass that I can sell off if I wanted to, but we'll see. Gold, paraffinium, high hydrogen. Well, this is minus 6.8, and I think we can go with that to get 95 million. That would take us over 900 million. The cash is really starting to fly in now. Yeah, we certainly don't want to sell that because that's minus 12. We'll, we'll hang on to the money for that. I think that's about all I can sell here. I'm sure I had some living glass, but then I was turning in. I'm not sure why I'm carrying 153 cactus flesh away around with me, but I think I'll sell that just to make sure I've got some space. So we got over a 910 million, which is looking good. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with collecting money because when Beyond comes out, I am going to restart, and this series will then effectively just become a, a demo type series for the new update so it will keep going but the main focus will shift to the new series a new restart yeah I so say I do have high hopes that when beyond comes out that there will be some changes at the beginning of the uh, the campaign so that we'll, you know life could be a little bit more interesting that doesn't really have planetary systems in yeah, that's sustainable that's not uh, okay let's go for here I mean the profitability in the market isn't particularly that important and here we are so conflict level tri trivial let's just have a quick scan around unknown planet that's a mechanical planet I don't ever recall going to a mechanical planet I've got to go there guys it's only 19 seconds away as I say I don't I, I can't think of what a mechanical planet actually looks like now there is one of the problems with this game is the fact that they've come up with all these different names but when you get down on the planet's surface it looks very much like what's been there before when I mean, it could just be an, an airless planet with a funny name Although looking at this, it looks like there might be some some form of form once we get through the clouds. Oh yeah, see what I mean? We've been on this type of planet before. But we, uh, we're put down. I mean, it won't be an extreme planet. I, mean, well, I know that for a fact. Sure. 
Okay, what's that? I like floating globes. I don't recall. Let's just go check these out. I don't recall seeing a life form that's a floating globe. I only want the condensed carbon. I've been hitting that quite hard recently. Okay. Now that could be a fantastic avatar, although I'm not too sure how you would fly a ship with it. If there's a gold deposit, don't really need gold, lots of gold on here. Um, actually, let's just take a picture. This could be the, the thumbnail. Get a nice close up maybe with the spinning one in the background. So we're going for a, a no, oops, going for an early picture. Maybe just come around a little bit like that. Actually, we can turn like that with the creatures in the background there. Not that I think they were shut. If I get a bit of height, we're looking down. Yeah, fun. yeah, I think that will work. Just shift. I think that will look good. Let's see, it's just change the. Yeah. And we can have a little bit of a scan as well, although we don't have any missions for scanning creatures. Quite a lot of dihydrogen at the moment, just don't have any tritium. That works. I always pick it up a little bit. Actually, a rolling one over there. Is that alive? We've got to go and check that out. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, did these. I think we actually scanned these. No. Okay. He's actually rolling away faster than I can actually do to catch him up. Um, he may be actually up in the air. What have we got down here? Okay. Let's grab this. Let's just have another look around to see if there's anything unique here. I mean, it's possible, but I, I'm not seeing anything on the, the scanner. We can scan that just for an extra 200 credits. <laughs> they say not even the price of a cup of coffee. Although, what the price of a cup of coffee in No Man's Sky is, I've got absolutely no idea. Yeah, I think these are just these floating. Right, let's just jump back into Wonderlust. About that. What we're going to do now is just get out and get to the space station. If I can find it. There it is, it's up there. And see if we can get any missions. Got there. Unknown planet. That's an irradiated planet. Let's just head for that one. I mean, an irradiated planet is possibly extreme. But the scanner should have recharged by now, so it's a fiery planet there, and it looks a bit like there's a, a moon in front of it, so I think that could be the best option. But we'll hit the space station first. It's like we've got hostiles coming in, but I think because the fiery planet's got a moon, we'll go there first. So I like the idea of visiting a fiery planet. Uh, am I gonna fight? 
Nah. I'm just gonna. Too late. You're not stealing my valuables. I'm, I'm sort of, in case of you guys are wondering, I've stopped checking the tech because it just doesn't. Oops. And it doesn't seem to be much point in taking up my fighter just at the moment. Let's check this guy to see if he's got any tritium for sale. Uh, buy items. Lemonum. Got some dihydrogen gel. Yes. Uh, I mean, I've got plenty of. I'm going to take the whole lot. Wish there was a button that would allow you to just take what you want. I think we're going to take about 15 of these. That's a nice, like, little haul. Means we'll be able to go and make some frigate fuel. And we might be able to kick off a frigate mission as well. Right, just have a quick check. Yeah. Actually, I uh, got I got some activated cadmium. We've sold that. Okay, let's just get into here first, and we'll just slot that activated cadmium. Got no real use for it. Yeah, I mean it's minus fifteen point three, but on one hundred and thirty-four thousand, it's not even worth worrying about. Stasis device is minus six. Yeah, I think we'll sell that. And that should take me over 950 million. Yep, 959 million. We're getting very close to a thousand million. What is ha? Ah, browse missions. Well, we're certainly going to take the option to kill sentinels. Scan for minerals. Yeah, that's a nice, easy one. Uh, there's a kill central squad there. Have some beans. Locate missing person. 450. Let's take that to see where it's going to take us. And if it doesn't take me to the, the right planet, then we're just dump off. Potential details received. Right, let's just. the ship. Jump out. Now I want you to send me to the fiery planet or the moon. I'll take one or the other. Well, we're certainly not going to the irradiated planet. That's the mechanical copper planet. What we got here is undiscovered. That's a barren planet. Okay, where's the mission gone? We are. Look that. Unknown planet that way. That's the fiery planet. It's actually saying. Okay, let's let's go down on the irradiated planet just to see whether it's uh, an extreme planet I mean it's nice and close so it should be okay because it's gonna drop us right down on a space station brakes reverse thrusters coming in a little bit too hot and fast then Okay, nothing here. Yeah. yeah, this is not an extreme planet. I mean, the radiation's aggressive, but it's not. Okay, employee. Okay. My form gestures frantically indicating they're not who I am looking for, but it's basically. It's in the target, but mine, but that fugitive is rather in a hurry to leave. I guess this is going to be a timed mission. 
So we won't. Yep. Yeah. Wow. We've only got one minute forty-three. Okay. We we better get a little bit of a crack on then. On the positive side, it probably means he won't be that far away. Yeah, I mean, he's literally just on the other side of this hill. Minor settlement. There we are. It's a trading station. Yeah, with some buildings. We'll check them out. In we go. Um, we read the encyclopedia. We got the get word for events. Wow, we'll check that out in a minute. Just where, where are you? There you are. You're hiding from me. <clears throat> Do not fully know what business this client is yet. Transmit location. Transmit location to target. He just put the finger up at me. Check the video on that. Of course, we've got to check this. It could be too good to true. 23 slot A class. Very close. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've got a 24 slot A class. And the stats are exactly the same. Never mind. We don't need anything from this guy. Again, this is another. This has been another disappointment with the update because these guys have you very quickly expend their value actually those nitrogen salts uh, take complete. those and we'll take the semiconductor as well so i suppose he's got a little bit of use because the nitrogen salts can be very quickly turned into something that's a bit more valuable um, we got that have a little bit of a walk around i mean i'm not Expecting much around here. Copper, don't need any copper. Just there. It's conditioned reflex to grab everything that's around, no matter how potentially useless it actually is. doing in the wrong way yeah we got callbacks casing not that I really need it never mind callbacks casing and we'll just grab this another 30 nanites there's nothing in here of any value. Then a few more nanites, we can't click on that. Probably grab the plant, that's going to give me some deuteronium. Yeah. Oops. Right, what we're going to do is jump into the ship. Have a quick. That really should be in my exosuit so I can sell it. Or so I remember so that I can remember to sell it. And that's high capacity. I'd like to send a little bit of tritium to my ship. Yeah. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go out jump in. Get up into space. We call the capital vessel. Sea rock will destroy. Not I need to do it, but sometimes it's just the principle of things. Some kind of residual part of the rings coming through the ship here, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, right, uh, what we're going to do is build. They built two. Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, probably because I don't have any more dihydrogen. I'm going to have to turn the dihydrogen in from those. That shouldn't take long, so I'm just going to shoot up here, guys. Round here. That certainly can go in the height. Acidine. Uh, you grab that. And we'll kick off this one. Perfect. Dihydrogen here. You. I mean, I'll probably, I won't, probably won't use all this in this part, but it's nice to have it made. Right. And so we go back here. Grab that mixer soup. And grab this. And just have. That's only 50, but. It's better in there than clogging up my inventory. So just like this. The suit. I can't even use more. If I convert them more. I mean, I've got more stashed away in my in the freighter up here, but let's see how much that will probably consume. No, I've still got spare tritium. Wow. Okay. So let's just shove this in the. And then we'll keep. I can go to the starship. For some reason, the it was consuming the tritium in my starship. A bit antisocial, so we just have to store that in there. So we've got plenty of fuel. What we're going to do is send a couple of these to the exosuit. Just going to use. I think if we put one in each of these, then it, I can use this as kind of super spare storage. Again, it's ridiculous that you've got three spare slots and you're still limited on you know the amount that you can convert at any one time. Because what it should do is this should store up to whatever the maximum capacity is. This store up to say a, a thousand, and then if you couldn't take it out, well, that's the way it goes. Right, let's just. The mission that we're going to get from here. If I remember correctly, this wasn't a particularly very big mission. Control system, we got 175 indium activated emerald. Yeah, magnetized ferrite. Yeah, I suppose that could be useful. A bit more cash, a lot more cash. Is that it? Oh, oh well. So we just made another million. And let's just send my frigates out on a, a mission. What have we got here? We've got combat patrol here, level three. Well, let's go on a level three combat mission. So, there's my support. Well, yeah, you're the more powerful of the ships, so. We'll go one, two, we'll blast anything in sight. So, though I, I think this number just is a little bit immaterial, to be honest. Um, I think the fuel oxidizer, I don't think I've got anything else I can. And then, nope. And that's going to be 750 tons. I think that's probably going to take most of my fuel. No, we've got about 800 tons left, so we can probably get in a second mission. And 
I've used up most of my fairly advanced ships. So what we get? That's a level one trade expedition. The rest are combat patrols. Well, let's just use a, a fairly long range balance mission. Um, we'll send a combat ship, a support ship, trade ship, an industrial ship, and an exploration. I mean, yeah, that should turn up something. Right. We just get here. Right there. We'll sell off this stuff. Probably be activated. Uh, yeah. Actually, we sell off a thousand indium as well. So we're just going to pump off this stuff. I've got some tritium, but uh, carbon, nitrogen salts definitely work well. Sell the lemonum and the here rocks, don't need that. And the corvax casings and the activated indium. I don't know if there's any use for that, but I just don't want it cluttering up my inventory. And we'll sell the activated emerald as well. We're up to 961 million. And what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go off to the fiery planet. There's my ship over there. Here we go. Fiery planet, here we come. Now we got all we gotta do now is find it. Oh come on, okay. That's the mechanical planet. What we got over here? That's the barren planet, cactus planet. That is the fiery planet over there. So we'll just blast our way through the asteroid belt. And let's put a scan on the moon first. That's just a low atmosphere moon. Okay. I, I think I've actually got a, a mission to take a picture of an airless uh, uh, planet or moon. Maybe I'll, I'll stop off on that in there on the way back. If, if especially if the fiery planet doesn't actually turn out to be of anything of great use. Right here we are. We're just entering the atmosphere. Coming down. There's some selenium there. Actually, I need some selenium, so what we're going to do is just drop down here. On stream planet, please. Weather sunny. <laughs> It's not an extreme planet. Oh well, never mind. Well, I think we'll just spend a little bit of time exploring this planet. Let me just uh, top up the heat protection. And I'm just going to grab the selenium. And my selenium farm isn't as big as it should be. Yeah, I don't have that many. In fact, there's probably more. Oops, there's a hole there. Certainly don't want to walk into that. There's probably more solar vine plants here than on my farm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to finish off the extreme survival on on my base planet. It seems to be the only dead cert way of doing that. 
just gonna grab this. Oi, oi, cut it out. There's this right, let's get in there. Right, let's just get rid of this phosphorus stuff. And I'll get rid of that stupid plant hidden in there. I'm just gonna kill this. Now I've got you. We'll scan you. We know you're a toxic plant, plant but you'll be you're worth gonna be worth sixty seven thousand. And you should be you're now nice and gone. The rest of these. A couple more here. Wow. <gasps> hey. That would get you killed in the early stages of the game, but I've got sufficient armor and defenses to protect myself from that. There's a creature there. Run behind. Nice. A hundred thousand. One more to go. Life support at fifty percent. Let's just use up the the oxygen. And let's have a scan round and see what we got. A phosphorus deposit there. I'm not sure. Yeah, we could probably do with some extra phosphorus. Put this in the capacity. And capacity, oxygen. You can actually you can go up there. And you can go there. Bring the my hydrogen there. Yeah, we can probably put at least that could probably go to high capacity as well. I can go to high capacity. Plenty of space now. Let's go and get the phosphorus. Might as well take advantage while we're here. Another creature. Hey. You were hiding from me. 142,000. Up that that height protection again. Up and running. I can see you this time. You're not gonna ambush me this time. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna dig this out, guys. coming out really nicely and my what drain manipulator got loads of magnetized ferrite so I've just nearly finished this area here this is looking like a three charge deposit yeah I should be able to clear out these last pieces with this yeah right down to eight percent um, well, let's just. I'll just take the last few pieces. Like that. I actually switched on the torch because this planet's a little bit dark. Get rid of him. And what we got? Yeah, I mean, I've got over 250 phosphorus that can go to high capacity. And we'll just keep topping this up. I've got more than enough now to survive on this planet. Just gonna, so what I'm going to do is just have a little bit of a quick Skype round, guys. I'm aware that time is pushing on. But I'd like to see there's some dihydrogen there. But we've got, for once, we've got plenty of dihydrogen and we've got enough tritium. 
Hmm. I was hoping this planet would be a bit of a little bit more interesting. But obviously it's not. Scan. Plants, there's some birds flying overhead. I think they're a little bit high. Might not be able to get them. Oh, you never know. Wait. Actually, they're not birds. Where are you? Well, they, I think they are birds. It's just... What is... Wait. Just cut it out. I'm busy. Birds have probably flown away a bit now. Let's just go this way. Some condensed carbon there. It's only going to pick this up. We get a lock on this one. And no. It says in fit up. Right, I've got a scan lock. I just need to. I can get in front of him. He's flying towards me, he's just flying a little bit too quick. Maybe if I can. Sometimes, if you zoom out a little bit, you can actually get. Because their movement is not quite so fast. So, we just got ourselves another mission. Uh, got you, okay. And the sun's come up so we can actually see what this planet's like. Not bad, it's a bit red. Red's not exactly my favourite colour. I prefer the, the more relaxed colours like blue and green. But then this is a fiery planet. What we're going to do is go back to the ship and what I'm going to do is take off, go back to the base and we're going to cash up that mission. So we're just going to jump into here, jump out, drop the save, take off. asteroids out the way right guys it looks like we're going to get bounced before I actually managed to get to the space station so we're I mean it's going to be a close run thing yeah okay Always makes me laugh that these get defeated as soon as I deploy my frigate ships. These guys are a little bit tougher. Oh, there's two of them. That might explain. Well, it looks like we've got frigate support in now. Is that it? Yep, I think that's it. Here we go. I'll back to the mission agent. Right, guys, moral of the story do not do your inventory when you are flying directly towards the space station because you end up running into it big time and I just can't seem to get away from it 
I seem to be trapped on the space station. I'm going to pulse away. Yeah. Wow. I certainly took a lot of damage there, trapped on that space station. The moral of the story there is do not do your inventory flying towards the space station because you fly straight into it and nearly get yourself killed. Totally stupidity there. So we lost four lives on that. Wow. <laughs> flying in on this guy's vapor trail now. So we're going to have to build those lives back up again. Maybe it's time to switch to another ship for a little while. And although technically we need to fly the ship in order to build up the resistance. Anyway, let's just go and catch in these missions. And in a mission, yeah, we've got some organic catalysts. That's going to be useful for my advanced manufacturing. Certainly going to take that. And we're going to get 451,000 for. Yes, your standing with the Merchants Guild has increased. Thank you. Browse mission, let's see what you got. No, well, I mean, we could kill three monstrous monstrosities, but we currently don't, we're not high enough to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually. And it says that we've now improved our standing with the two. We've got another 11 ranks to become before we become exalted. We've got 32 ranks to go before we get the merchant skills. Okay. And we've got a little bit more work to do there. Next rank Traveller of the Atlas. And what we sell off? Well, that can go to the exosuits. Oh, we've only got one bit of Herox to sell off, and since that can go to the high capacity. And this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, I just really want to get this milestone sorted. So, what I will do is complete this on my that back on my fungal farm that seems to be the quickest way to get that done once that's out of the way we can then think about other things make more likely trying to complete these now so we're gonna have to probably have to do a lot more missions this one's finished so what we're going to need to do is do quite a lot of missions for the mercenaries guild and the merchants guild it'd be really nice to get these finished and of course we've also got these here we've got a lot more systems to visit and so maybe we need to do a lot more interplanetary jumping to try and get these finished because this this is the type of thing i do would like to get finished before beyond comes out i hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming